Hello, it's Vince Danzioni here from winonmarkets.net with a market update and a little bit about how to make money from financial spread trading. I'll also give you a trading idea on how you can profit from the upcoming Brexit vote, uh, which will be the 23rd of June. Before I get started, anything in this presentation or anything that I show you is for information purposes only. If you decide to copy any of the trades or any of the information I give to you, that's obviously at your own risk. All right, let's get straight into it, and uh, let's start off with the Brexit idea. Um, you've probably heard there's going to be a vote in the UK on the 23rd of June, and the simple question is, should the UK remain in uh, the EU? Um, and as I say, I personally think that the UK should probably leave. However, I'm not betting on that, and I'm actually betting on the UK will uh, remain so um, I'll show you how I'm doing that. I'm doing that with uh, IG Index because I think when the push comes to the shove, whilst yes, leaving the UK, uh, leaving the EU could be good for the UK in the long term, short term, there'd be a lot of disruptions. And let's be honest, a lot of people will stay with the status quo because things are not that bad. All right, so let me show you how we set that trade up. This is uh, IG Index. A few other companies offer it as well. So binary bet, for those that know what binary bet is, it's basically between 0 and 100. 0 meaning the event hasn't happened, 100 meaning the event has happened. So in this case, UK to vote in, um, I've bought at 71. So the most that this can go up to is 100. Uh, the worst that can happen, it goes down to 0. So give you an idea, if, you've done, if you do £10 a point, and you buy at 71, um, and it expires, i.e. Um, come the vote the UK does remain in, then you'll gain 29 points, 29 times 100, um, and that's how you make £290 profit. Obviously, if it goes wrong, uh, there would be a loss of 710. Of course, I'm just using £10 as an example. You could make the bet smaller or bigger. Now, another little note here. It says 29 for December 2017. That's just an arbitrary system date. The trade will actually settle the day after or maybe two days after the event. So you're not going to have to wait until then to get paid out. It's going to settle out on the 24th or the 25th. Uh, now, if you want to take the other view, and of course, you know, um, some watching this in the UK probably know about the great odds that uh, some people got on Leicester City, uh, 5,000 to 1. I, you know, I'm not here to brainwash anybody. I'm not here to say this is the view you, know, view you should take. But if you want to take the outside view, then of course you would buy um, the UK to vote out. And you can buy that for 32 at the moment. But the favourite is the UK to vote in. Uh, and I believe that's what's going to happen. So that's a little trading idea. Now, of course, the currency market is where there's going to be a lot of action um, because right now I believe the pound is being held back because of the uncertainty of the vote. Remember, markets don't like uncertainties. Um, so the, um, the GBB uh, against the US dollar, the cable, has been relatively weak. It started to come back a little bit the last few weeks, but I believe it is still being held back um, because of this uncertainty of the vote. Now, not necessarily just when the vote happens, and I think there will be a bit of a, an uptick when the vote happens, but I think the pound can go back to sort of the 150 level. I'm not looking to get back here at 170, um, more around the 150, maybe 152 level between now and the end of the year. And that can be traded with a spread bet or even a binary uh, bet as well with something like binary.com. Um, so that's where I'm looking for the pound to go, maybe back to the 150 level, probably between now and the end of the year. All right, another idea is the euro versus the GBP. Um, and again, what had been happening last year, the euro has been very weak against the pound. And this year, 2016, so far, the euro has been gaining against the pound. Again, some of this uncertainty. Um, however, if the UK was to vote uh, out, then that's not going to help the euro either because many people will be saying, well, what's the next country to vote out? Um, but again, the last couple of weeks, we've started to see the euro weaken against the, against the pound. Um, I don't think that the pound should be where it is now. It should be nearer to sort of 74 or even 70, so where we started the year again. So again, what you'd be looking to do here is selling the euro, be short the euro and long the pound. And again, I'm talking about between now and the rest of the year. Uh, obviously, if we get there a bit quicker, then even better. But um, that's you know that's a trade. So the pound basically strengthened against the euro, pound strengthened against the US dollar. 
All right, let's have a look at stock markets, which is more of my uh, main sort of bread and butter business. And some of you know that I actually trade the US markets. That's my main area. Now, you may have heard of the old saying, selling may and go away. Obviously, we're in that period right now. So we're in the bearish weaker part of the year. Now, what this seasonal chart here is, um, it divides up the S&P 500, the US markets. And what we've got here, we've stripped out all the uh, years, the even years and the odd years and for those that don't know the significant of the even years which is where I've got this circle here is elections US elections happen on even years um, both the midterm election and the general election and in case you don't know there's an election coming up in November um, likely candidates it's gonna be Hillary Clinton against Donald Trump so we're in this sort of wishy-washy sideways action between May and the end of the year but if you notice here there's a big spike up well that comes in November once the election regardless of who wins and I personally I believe Hillary will probably hold on um, and win because again it's the safer bet uh, there will be a relief rally in stock so that's something to look at more towards the end of the year um, for the stock market to go higher this is US stocks uh, have quite a good uh, relief rally and a good end uh, of the year now it doesn't mean that the whole world stops, you know, just because we're now in this sort of summer period, there are still plenty of opportunities. And of course, you can still make money by being long and short individual shares. So whilst the S&P 500 may be flat, there's still plenty of uh, areas where we've made money. Now, I run something called the Millionaire Trader Group, and uh, this is somewhere where people can actually follow my trades. But where we've actually done very, very well the um, this year so far is mining stocks. Now, you might know that gold is up around 22% this year against the S&P being flat, which is not a bad move. It's great if you've been in gold. But junior mining stocks, we've done even better. We're up around 90% because these smaller mining stocks, they're very leveraged to the price of gold. Now, yeah, of course, these smaller mining stocks have higher risk. But by using exchange trading fund, using ETF, we spread our risk. Uh, and that's what the GDXJ does. Now, these are the stocks that uh, there's 48 stocks in total. But here's some of the bigger holdings. Um, and you can actually have a look at some of these afterwards. Now, one stock that's done really, really well is uh, AG, which is this one, First Majestic Silver, because obviously silver here as well. And AG is up 260%, and that's helped the ETF to go up. Uh, and there's a chart there that you can see we've gone from like two, three dollars in February, and we're around the eleven dollars mark now. Now, what I tend to do with these smaller stocks when they're two, three dollars, I just buy them outright. I don't even bother spread betting them. Uh, but some of these you can spread bet. The ETF you can spread bet. Um, and you know, as I say, two, three dollar stocks, I just buy them um, outright. Now, seasonality. Again, I've just mentioned seasonality in the stock market. There's also a seasonal pattern in gold. So some months are stronger than others. Now, as we get into August, September, uh, September tends to be the strongest month for gold, also one of the weaker months for the stock market. And I think with a run up to the US election as well, there'll be a bit of extra uncertainty as well. So I think gold is going to hold up quite well. Yeah, it's had a great move so far this year. It's going to consolidate a little bit. That's totally expected after such a good run. But overall, I still see gold having a good few months um, especially with the you know the election uncertainty. Another stock that's done well for us is Barrett Gold ABX, and that's up 160%. And again, been doing very well tracking the gold price, but doing better because again, it's more leveraged to gold. A stock that I've done really well with um, this year is a stock that I was short of last year. See, that's the thing. You know, if you want to be a good trader, you've got to make money from things going up as well as down. Now, Wynn Resorts, which is casino, some of you probably think of Las Vegas, but Wynn actually is very exposed to China and Macau, and there's been a slowdown in Macau. So last year, I did quite well, and these are all actual real trades of mine. I did quite well being short, making money from Wynn going down, um, whereas this year, we've actually had quite a good bounce in Wynn. And right now, as I speak to you, I'm actually long Wynn, so I'm making money on the upside. So be happy to flip trades between long and short. You know, we can make money on both sides of the market. A stock um, that's done really, really well, been a very steady performer. And I think regardless of whether Trump or Hillary comes in, defense spending will remain uh, pretty high. Um, and that's Lockheed Martin that does everything from missiles to um, 
civil aviation as well. And that's been a very, very good steady stock. So that's one you can have a little look at as well. Now it's important, and I've said this before, you know, you've got to trade what you see, not what you think. You might think markets are heading lower or heading higher or whatever. But the good thing about the system that I will teach you is that we trade with what we see. We follow the trends. Uh, and, you know, you've got to be happy as well to realize trends don't carry on forever. Just an example of that wind stock. It was great that, you know, I was making money on the short side. Then it stopped going down. Then I, you know, closed out the short and then went long and made money on the long side as well. Um, now, the S&P 500, which is the main U.S. market, which is 500 shares, um, is pretty much flat. I think as, as I'm doing this, we're down about 1% uh, year to date. So it's done nothing. However, look at these individual shares. We see the gains are actually, you know, quite different to being flat. You know, we've got Exxon Mobil there's up 16%. Remember, gains would be magnified if you're using spread betting. So we can be long and short individual shares. Um, and all of these companies that you see here, these can all be traded with a spread bet. They're all big companies and it's easy to be long or short. Now, a little thing, and I did this a few years ago, and you've, you can actually uh, Google it. And yeah, it was to grab a headline, but it's so true. Many of you um, watching this or listening to this, you might be probably in your early 50s um, or late 40s. And you know, you're probably used to interest rates being higher than where they are now. I believe interest rates are gonna stay low which is okay for people that borrow money, but for savers, and many probably listen to this, have money saved or have money in cash, you're earning nothing. You know, you're know, you getting 1% if you're lucky, inflation's eating that up. So it's important, you know, if you want retirement to be better, um, you know, if you want to retire at some stage, i.e. not carry on working till you're 80 or 90 just because uh, you have to, um, it's important that you, know, you start investing, being smarter with your money. That's what I'm trying to say, because it's great, Chances are you're going to live longer. There's some great advances in sciences. You know, the old days of living to 80 or 90, especially for a man, it was unheard of. Whereas now I think that's going to become more and more the norm. The problem is I think a lot of people haven't factored that in and are not saving or doing the right thing. So just a little word there. I think whatever you're doing right now is look at how much cash you're holding and make smarter investments with that cash. All right, if you want to go further, as I say, if you want to learn more about FX, uh, CFDs, if you're not in the UK, spread betting in the UK, or just normally buying and selling shares, you know, if you have an ISA and you want to start off using my system in that, you can do. You'll get, uh, you know, it's easy to follow. You get a workbook, you get DVDs, you get members site, you got full support. Uh, it's a clear buy and sell system. It's not just literally um, a system that you know you're left with to your own devices. And to say the exit is very important. A lot of people don't t tell you when to get out of a trade. You can do everything in less than 20 minutes a day. There's no watching a screen all day. It's not aimed at day trading. It's aimed at slightly longer holdings. So it's ideal if you've got an existing job or an existing business. You can run this alongside what you're doing now. Um, as I say, it comes with a 100% money back guarantee. And the reason why I give that is because so few people ask for their money back. And if you want to learn um, more about this, just go to www.winonmarkets.net. So www.winonmarkets.net. You've also got access to my blog there. And there's a little uh, clip. There's a 30 minute clip, which actually comes from the DVD. So you can have a look, see if you like it, if you like me, uh, like my style. If not, no problem, you know, nothing, uh, nothing lost. And I think, you know, having someone like me on your side, um, it will really, really help you, you know, having a mentor, having somebody that you can fire an email off to that will help you if you get stuck, um, you know, regardless if markets are going up or down. I'm coming up to 32 years of doing this now, so uh, I'm not saying I know everything, but I've seen a few things in my time. All right, as I say, if you've got any questions, feel free to email me, vince at finbets.com. Thanks for watching, and as I say, if you want to learn more, just go to www.winonmarkets.net.